How's it going guys, Vapav here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're talking about LG. So if you look around your house, you've probably seen LG refrigerators, LG washing machines, LG TVs, even LG toasters, but not so much when it comes to smartphones. Now they did have a purple patch around the time of the LG G4, G5 and G6. The G6 being one of the first smartphones to come with an 18 by nine display. I remember that very vividly because that was my first ever event. Um, that was the first event I attended and that's when I got my first ever review unit um, Officially you could say so I remember that phone. I liked it a lot But ever since then they've sort of gone downhill their g7 g8 as well as their other lineup the v 60 I think that's their latest smartphone the v60 thing Q all of these smartphones are great They have the latest end specifications, but they're just confusing to a general consumer. You can't remember the name um, the LG G60 thing Q is just a very, very hard name to pronounce. But not only that, it's not that marketed, especially in the Middle Eastern region. So if you go out, um, you can't at the moment, but whenever you do, uh, the billboards you see outside are all Samsung, Oppo, uh, Apple, etc. And none of these billboards actually market an LG smartphone. But I think what LG wants to do this year is change that up. And that's where this video comes into play. Now, if you look at this article from LG on April 9th, which was a few days ago, they're sort of going for a change in design. So this says LG's new design language taps into nature with visual elegance, tactile perfection. So basically what LG wants to do with their smartphone division is change it up in terms of visual design, aesthetic feel, etc, etc. So now, if you go um, at the bottom, one of the things they're focusing on is their raindrop style camera. So if you know, um, current gen smartphones have this big camera island at the back and to some that might not be the most visually aesthetic, but LG sees this solution as being more visually aesthetic. So they've basically got different camera units um, coming down as a raindrop and I guess that's kind of innovative. Another design aspect they're going to focus on is the 3D arc design, which means both the rear and the front edges of the display are going to be curved equally, which makes the feel in hand just a bit better and also the look more appealing. Um, I can't really comment on how the phone is going to look, but what I can say is because of these design changes, LG is going to have sort of a different um, perspective, a different um, recognition in the market. And if you go ahead and look at these images in a bigger scale, you can see that raindrop style um, design. You can also see the curves at the back. So all of that looks pretty great, the front design as well. I don't know how they're gonna accommodate the uh, front camera with this design, but I'm sure they're gonna have like some sort of notch on the front because this is just a sketch in essence. Um, there's another sketch right over here. So again, the raindrop style aesthetic, which I kind of prefer. I don't like that big camera island at the back of the smartphone because it just makes it um, unwieldy um, when you place it on top of a table, for example. It just wobbles around everywhere. And to avoid that, you need to have some sort of case. I don't know how big the notch or the protrusion rather would be here, but I'm guessing it would be smaller than a typical camera island that we see, the square ones we see on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the S20 Ultra, um, and other smart, I think those are the only two, oh, and the Google Pixel. So yeah, the other article that came out actually today, um, April 12th, is they're gonna be releasing a smartphone with this design very, very soon called the LG Velvet. Now there's no picture with this article, but they're saying this is going to be the first product in a new roadmap for LG. So it's going to feature a unique raindrop style camera as well as a symmetrical flowing form factor that's both pleasing to the eye and pleasing to the touch. Now as you can see they're sort of moving away from the natural trends and going for this velvet name because it's intended to evoke images of smoothness and premium softness which are two of the key characteristics of the phone. So the LG Velvet is supposedly going to be a mid-range smartphone, I believe. I'm not sure if it's going to carry over to the flagship lineup as well. I'm pretty sure we'll see more flagship smartphones from LG rocking this sort of design. And over the next couple of months and couple of years, I think LG wants to establish this identity for their smartphones. And I think they're going to heavily market their smartphones to come back because um, if you look at LG smartphones from a hardware perspective, they're doing nothing wrong. Their um, hardware is great. They have the latest end processors. They have 
the biggest capacities they have everything they don't quite have the software and i can't comment on the software because i haven't used an lg phone in absolutely ages but i'm sure they can also work on the software so with a design refresh a hardware that a hardware setup that's pretty much standard as to what we see on flagships and maybe a slight software change could see lg come back into the smartphone division but yeah, I think that about sums up today's video. Let me know what you guys think about LG coming back into the smartphone region. Is this a good time to release sort of this new smartphone? We're probably going to see this smartphone sometime in mid-May. So uh, look out for that video whenever I get a chance to see the smartphone. I'll make a video on it and let you guys know how I feel about it. But yeah, LG Velvet, I don't know about the design. Uh, I don't know about the name, sorry. The design looks pretty good. Uh, I gotta give LG props for that. It's gonna be refreshing. It's gonna be something new and hopefully we'll see it soon. But yeah, thanks for watching. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.